Hey, welcome to Just Enough Scala for Spark. In the following screencast tutorials, we're going to be covering what I believe are the most important aspects of using Scala with Apache Spark. These screencasts are designed for people that are entirely new to Scala, or maybe they haven't used Scala in a while and they need a quick refresher. It is going to be hopefully fun and interesting for you and as well as me. So I want to talk about the format a little bit about how I've structured these screencasts. First, some of the physical aspects of it. As you'll notice, I'm looking at you in this camera, but I also want you to know that I have a screen in front of me as well. And that screen, for example, I can see the same slide as you that says just enough Scala for Spark overview. You're probably wondering, who is this guy? Well, let me tell you about myself really quick. Um, I've been working with Scala for about four years, and um, I uh, have a love-hate relationship with Scala. There are some days that I really love it, and there are some days that it really frustrates me. Um, some days I feel really good at it. Some days I don't feel so great at it. So what I have done with these experiences is try to take and filter all of that into a way that I could present it to you and provide the most valuable aspects of the language so you can become most productive with Spark. And speaking of Spark, I have about two years of experience with Spark and um, I hope to show you again through my experiences what I believe are the best ways to use Spark with Scala. I provide books and courses and free tutorials at my website superglue.com so check it out if you get a chance. But enough about me more about you what is in it for you so as I mentioned this these screencast tutorials all are, are all about getting you up to speed quickly and or maybe it's it's refreshing your skill set um, so you can become you know most productive with Apache Spark and confident as well um, we're not going to go into all the nuances of Scala we're going to cover the aspects that I think are best for you when you're going to be using Scala with Spark so the screencasts are divided up into six sections. We're going to start off with an introduction to Scala, your environment setup, and the basic concepts of the language. Next, we're going to move beyond the basics and we'll cover some more advanced topics. From there, we'll move into Scala collections and we'll devote an entire section to it because the Scala collections are something that are easily translatable to Apache Spark. And you'll see what I mean as we when we get there. Next, we're going to talk about some of the opinionated aspects of Scala with Spark. And by opinionated, I mean my opinion. Um, we're going to use IntelliJ, the IDE, or an Integrated Development Environment, when we write our Scala code. And we're going to go through some of the tricks that I've learned on using IntelliJ with Scala, and then we'll set it up and and um, hopefully you'll try it right along with me. Finally, we're going to use SPT, or the build tool with Scala. And again, that's something that has a st steep learning curve if you've never used a build tool before, or if you've used a build tool like Maven or Gradle or back in the day Ant. Um, heck, make files, if you will. It's another build tool that has its own nuances and opinions, I guess, on the way it, it goes about um, you know, creating an organized environment for your project. So we'll get into that as well. And then finally, we'll talk about the conclusion of these Scala tutorials. And I'll, I'll provide some free recommended resources for you if you want to continue your journey. So I'm looking forward to um, the next screencast. And I just want you to know that, you know, if you have any questions along the way, just, uh, just let me know. Wherever you're watching this screencast, there should be some facility to leave some comments. And I'll do my best. Uh, to answer them or maybe even somebody else that is watching this screencast along with you will be able to help out and we can all help each other we'll see anyhow again I'm looking forward to this and uh, the next step is to start with section one so I'll see you there